everybody, and welcome back to Tales of the Wandering Bar. Cool. Um, so, this boisterous, uh, uh, rowdy, self-absorbed fighter comes and you know, throws his thumbs at himself, talks the talk, and orders a bunch of drinks. Um, how much are the drinks? Uh, the ale is cheap. Ah, still, it's you know, it's like walking to a bar and being like, "Get me three beers right now." It's... Actually, I'm actually gonna just pop, uh, pop close to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna just sit next to him just for me to do the talking on the other side. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't talk uh, for you. Uh, it's just not go, who I am. I'm go, just... go into him, actually. Go into him. I don't say that. I just, just, I'm not that sort of. I just want you to know that I'm not the sort of guy that will get in your way. Like I'm. You're paying me a good wage, and I want to be here to provide a good service for you. So I, you just tell me what to do, and I'll do it. I won't step on any toes. Not my head. I just okay. Just stand near him. You look normal. Okay, but you, you understand me, right? I trust you. Okay, let's do it. And okay. I just I, I I'm actually gonna just slide the coin before the soldier has any the chance to pay for them. I'm just gonna slide the coin necessary to pay for them, like five copper. Uh, you got to, the Hank was talking to you in the meantime the soldier paid for things. God damn it. I'm just gonna like, ne- get next to him, uh, order myself a drink, kind of say, So, brave soldier, you of the sort? Oh, are you another admiring fan? Um, uh, not a fan, but admiring I am. Well, my name is Marshall Leonard, uh, Marshall, <clears throat> Marshall Leonard, and I am the Foremost swordsman and weapons expert in the region. Antonio de la Croix, a bard. Ah, Good to meet you. Man of the song. How oh, nice. Uh, do you know any of my songs? Um, I have not heard any of your songs specifically. You but must I've... not be a very good bard then. You know what? I'm sure you can teach a couple of them to me. Oh, who has the time for that these days with all the adoring fans? Anyway, did, uh, did you, are you looking to get my autograph? Is that it? I'm looking for something more interesting. Uh, First hand experience, I'm, um, have you heard about the problems of the steel up north? Why do you think I am the very greatest soldier in all the land? I have slain an ogre and I plan on slaying the rest and bringing all the iron back here. So you've slain an ogre, huh? Absolutely, his head is sitting on my spear which I have left outside because I am a respectable gentleman. Uh, um, this, this, how bad is Henry drunk? You've seen how I've been playing him. Make your interpretations based on that. Okay, well, I'm not going to ask him that then. Um, anyway, I'm going to say, mm, interesting, oh, good pride, good manners go a long way. Anyway, I'm interested in stopping this matter as well. And... Aren't we all? It is for the good of the realm. For the good of the realm. Yes, exactly. I just uh, returned from a performance at uh, Lady Fistel's um, abode. She's quite a uh, quite a nice young woman. Well, young woman. Are you heading up north soon? Up north, I have ogres to slay, my dear lad. Well, there up are north. ogres a plenty here. Well, nobody actually. I'm actually gonna you know, start relaying. Do you want me to go through the whole information I uh, received? I wanna basically tell him nobody really knows that they're ogres, you know? The. Uh, nobody survived the caverns yet. I believe there might be I, something else involved. I am an expert tracker, and I know an ogre footprint when I see it. Those are clearly not mountain giants. Mountain giants have a gate. That is a, another 50% on top of that of an ogre. And additionally, mountain giants have larger big toes, and their feet are just a little bit bigger. But the mountain giant's larger, and he starts babbling. By the way, I do tracks. have a proficiency in walker history, so uh, tell me if uh, if this guy is putting, spouting bullshit on me. Um, none of this would be covered in local history. No? Nothing like... Because footprint size? Not footprint size, but like specifics of uh, between ogres and hill giants, because you said hill giants are plenty here. You you would know that there are hill giants and ogres in these hills. That is true. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the details on telling them apart aren't really covered. Okay, cool. Uh, At least not in like terms of being able to tell to track them. You would have to have tracking proficiency to tell them apart. Got it. Well, I believe something on the road up uh, around here is. Stopping all the caravans. Uh, Lady Fistel's caravans are going in, uh, not as uh, with a winter uh, 
Can you can you just give me the name so I can write it down because I can. Lady Wind, uh, Wolf Wind, and Lady Thistle. Wolf Wind. Not as many wolf winds, so it must be around somewhere here. Now, can you uh, wave up your boast and help me uncover this mystery? Because there might be not be ogres. Help you, here. son. I do not need your help. I am the greatest swordsman in the land, and I can deal with this problem all on my own. Yeah. If you would like to accompany me to see the glorious battle, so you may write another song about me, I may allow you to accompany me. Just, just whispering on my breath. But I will have to charge you. After all, the songs about me will bring in a great deal. I am bound to be famous any day now. More famous any day now. Uh, I have a bodyguard with me. And uh, Henry over on there. Uh, hey, how's it going? Um, if it's going to be... Do you really have an overhead outside? Can I go see it? I can. I confirm. He said, go. And confirm it. He staggers outside. Ping! Huh. We'll see about that. Depending on um, if we find anything interesting, uh, I can definitely uh, agree to that. But if it's all going to be wandering and finding nothing, then I can't really pay you for that. What do you say we just make a partnership here? You don't. Uh, I'm here. To, I'm there to help you. <laughs> I'm there to help you. Oh, oh. Because I... you know, bards have better words than soldiers, and I can write better songs about you and just sing them. You're around not here. the only bard in town. Oh, but I'm the best one. Mm. Put me on the test. You haven't even heard any of my songs before. Okay, I'm gonna try and. Um, just so I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna start singing about a soldier. I'm gonna include a uh, small uh, with details about him, but it's mostly gonna be a soldier song, like a familiar soldiering, like heroic, like oh, grandiose hero uh, adventure type of uh, song. And I'm gonna include like a couple of personal details all about him. What personal details would you include? His name. Uh, What's his name? Did he say his name? He says he he walked inside. My name is. Oh, he did, didn't he? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna include his name. Uh, I am going to include a f like like slashing down with his two handed blade, like that's cutting uh, ogres in two. And like basically Give stuff. Me an like intelligence it. check to see if you can actually remember his name, since you can't remember it. I don't include his name. I mean, you, have you ever talked, been introduced to a person and then like 10 minutes later, you're like, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, I have, this, I have. This is one of those yeah. moments. I just told the one, by the way. Sorry, I need to mention it to chat. I just told the one. That's why, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. I'm not using this dice anymore. Okay, so uh, I just... So you I, start... I just start singing about him. Okay. Uh, give me a singing check. A singing of... Mm. Oh, fuck. 18. 18 total? 18 total. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, son, you have a long way to go. Why don't you leave this to the adults here? And he brushes past you and walks down and off to another group of people. Okay, I'm going to go outside and... You're uh... probably going to kill him now, aren't you? <laughs> 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 if you can get past him. He is the greatest swordsman in all the land. Oh, yeah, he is. Um... Let's see how great he is a sweep. Mm. How how great he can can do that sort of sweep. Okay. Okay. So I'm just gonna wait around. I was gonna confirm with Henry if there, he actually has the ogre head. You head outside then. Yeah, I just go easily, just nonchalantly. Okay. You head pop outside. outside. Henry is out there dancing with a spear that has a very large, deformed head on it. Can I figure out there's a ogre head? I mean, it's way bigger than a human's head. It's like. You yourself have never seen an ogre before, so you don't really know, but it's this big, misshapen, ugly thing. It could mm. easily be an ogre's head, but you just, you've just never seen an ogre before. It's not an ogre's head. Okay. I just know it's, it's not an ogre's head. I know, you, you can't bullshit the bullshit there, you know? Right, anyway, um, anyway, why don't you uh, head, on, head on to your room? Uh, just sleep a bit, I might need you tonight. 
Would you take my dance partner, please? Yes, I, I, t I take him. It's, it's okay. I just put him right okay. near the side over on there. Uh, he goes back into the pin and disappears. You know what? I'm, I, I'm actually going to place the spear in a more discreet corner. It's like move it. Yeah, move it a bit. I'm just going to hide it a bit. I'm just make it harder to find. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to buy him a water or a coffee if there's coffee. Um, yeah, there's coffee. Yeah, I'm going to give, buy him a coffee. Buy the... the anyway. Henry. Henry a coffee. Just thought you were sending him to bed. Yeah, but, but coffee doesn't uh, react, doesn't go, like, doesn't wake you up uh, immediately. If you chug it and you sweep, uh, and you can search this, uh, one hour after you wake up, mm -hmm. uh, actually no, after one hour if you sweep, like if you nap, and you, then you wake up, it boosts you, like it's energy. Like you wake up very refreshed. No, so you buy Henry some coffee. I just make him chug it and then send it to sweep. Mm -hmm. Um, shall it three copper for the coffee? Uh, Four copper for the coffee. Four copper. Okay, so have five server and eight, six copper. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for him to go to his room. The magnificent, oh, oh, oh amazing fire. Okay. Uh, he's up pretty late. He stays up until most of the bar has cleared out. He drinks fairly heavily, but he seems to maintain control of himself throughout the night. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end, it's just you and him hanging out. You in your corner, him in his corner after the, the last guests leave. And he tips his hat to the bartender, gives him an extra three gold in payment, and walks up the stairs without, a, without even a single glance at you. He's always stealthily going up uh, behind him. Yeah, you follow the stairs behind him. He uh, goes to the very last room down the hall, opens the door, walks in, slams it behind him. Okay, I'm gonna grind around uh, for half an hour. Uh, after half an hour, I'm gonna wake up Henry. Henry wakes up. Goes, oh. uh, wait, what are, what are we doing? Oh God! Get a call with staff. Okay, okay, all right, all right. He picks up his core staff. What are we doing? You know that warrior? Yeah, yeah, what, what was his name? Leonard the Magnificent or something? This guy has a good intelligence, it seems. Uh, yeah, yeah, him. You know that uh, spear he had? That's not an ogre head. And really? He... It looked pretty big. It is pretty big, but a lot of things are big and broady and misshapen. We're gonna go into his room, and we're gonna figure out the truth of the matter. Is there a, an ogre in his room? No, it's only him, sleeping. But how's that gonna tell us the truth? And if he's sleeping, won't he notice us? Well, we can get inside without him noticing us. And after that, we'll talk to him. A light bulb goes on in his head. Oh! I thought you said you weren't gonna ask me to kill anyone. We're not killing anybody. Oh. No, I'm talking, talking to him, which means talking. Oh. Like I thought you meant. We're gonna like, bully. We're gonna bully. Him the screws to his fingers. No, no, we're gonna bully him. Yeah, maybe, maybe something like that. We're gonna bully him, intimidate him into talking to us and telling but us isn't the truth. Is he a magnificent warrior? Won't he kill us? Um, we can't bullshit the bullshit. I just tell him he's he may be he he has a nice shiny armor. He has a nice sword, but currently he doesn't have the sword. He's not in his armor. And he he did have his two-handed sword on his back. His spear is outside. Yeah, he he had his two-handed uh, sword on his back, but he doesn't sleep with it on his. He doesn't go like this and sword like be, 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 behind his back. The sword might be close to him, but if I can get inside without him hearing us. Okay. Um, so how would you go about this? Uh, I'm gonna easily just go towards his room, mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna rock pick it. Oh. Uh, if it's not. If it's not, like, if it's, uh, if it's unlocked, I'm just gonna open it, but... It, it is unlocked. Okay, I just easily open it, like, stealthily move. Do you have a... a move silently skill? Uh, no, that's not one okay. of the ones I have. Do you want me to give you just a dexterity check? Sure, give me a dex check. 19, 
plus 12. Uh, I said you weren't going to roll that die anymore. No, not this one, this one. I rolled a 1 mm, on this one. Okay. Like, fuck this one. This one will be good. Mm. Uh, 19, so that's 21. No. Yeah. No, 31. 31. 31, there we go. Okay. You creep towards him. He is asleep in bed. Um, Do I see the weapon anywhere? Yes, you see the, the two-handed sword leaning against the bed on the other side. Like, it's stuck between the bed and the wall. Okay. Easy to take the sword. Uh, like, you'd have to reach over the bed. So the oh. bed is in the back corner of the room, and he's, like, shoved the sword down between the bed and the wall. So he can reach it, but it can't be reached by anyone else. If I if I just lean over him like this, yeah, you could, definitely, you could lean over the bed. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hand, one of my hands, into my into my bandolier and just put one dart between my two dots between my fingers. Just be ready, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna easily just look at him very closely. Like I'm extremely ready for him to open his eyes and me to plunging this in his neck. Yeah, uh, so. you reach over, grab the sword. And pull it out. Easily pull it out. Pull it out. I'm going to give it to Henry. Henry comes in and... Picks it up. Um... Okay, Henry picks it up. Uh, guy still, it seems closes still the door. asleep. Because I just motion, I close the door. Does he close the door? Mm -hmm. Okay. And now he has the sword. Um, oh, let's see the truth of the matter. Uh, I'm gonna grab like a, a rag, anything. By the way, I am in my armor. Be because I'm the bar. Mm -hmm. I'm in my leather armor right now. I'm not in my flamboyant shirt. Right, you're in your leather armor. Okay, cool. Okay. Just to have that covered. Because I don't want to get in combat and just... Oh, right, 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 right. I'm glad you brought that up. Okay, so I'm... I'm gonna grab a rag. Uh, oh, actually, no. I'm just gonna... Just gonna put a dart to his neck like this. And just wake him up. His eyes open. But he doesn't say anything. So he's lying. He opens and looks around. Makes eye contact with you. Hey there, Leonard. That's not my name. Uh, what was your name? I completely forgot about that. It, it goes sharp. It, a bit like it's like. What are you doing? Well, I saw your spear, and that thing that you name an ogre head. That's not an ogre head. What is it? Like, you would know what an overhead looks like. I push it. What There's is it? a little it? bit of a wince. It's an ogre head. I've, um, I've seen a lot of bullshitters. I am quite good at it myself. You're not. That's not an ogre head. Then what is it? Um, shit, how do I get around this? <laughs> because I, I don't know what it could be, I just know it's not an ogre head. I, well, I think it's not an ogre head. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about uh, your ogre fight? How did, how did that go? How'd you find this ogre? Where'd you find him? I don't know what your game is here, but if you want to have a discussion, this is not the way to do it. Well, I wanted to have one with you downstairs, but you seemed... You're the bard who can't sing, right? Go on. Well, what do you turn? What, what do you want? Be straight about it. No, I'm interested in stopping this whole ogre business. And so I why are you stabbing me in the neck? I'm, I'm not the stabbing killing you in the neck. I'm just saying you're bullshitting, and I don't believe your story about the ogre. Well, you're a sadistic fuck coming into a man's room in the middle of the night and putting a dagger to his neck just because you think he lied to you. Yeah, and? Are you gonna call somebody a sadistic fuck when they're above you and, well, very close to killing you? I know, but your man over there is about to fall asleep. Yeah, maybe. I mean, the man over on there is just to keep your sword safe from you. I don't need him to kill you. I think he's still drunk. Yeah, a bit. Hmm. So, I just, I removed the dart from his neck. Okay. 
Um, as you do so, he makes a reach for you. Give me an initiative roll. Okay. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to, okay, do we want to talk no more now? But nope, that doesn't seem like he wants to. So, uh, 10. 10 total? 10. I was like, this is zero, zero mean one. No, it's 10. 10. So 10 plus your weapon speed. Uh, two. 12. So 12. All right. He goes first. He reaches for your hand. Okay. AC 13, I'm guessing, if that matters. Uh, he's just reaching for your hand, your hand. He misses your hand and grabs the dart itself uh, and cuts himself. Give me a D3 for how badly he cuts himself when he grabs your dart. Two points of damage. Okay. Mm. Let's see, how can I grab things so as not to let you know what anything about him? Um. One second. No, no, that's fine. No. I know which of these dice. All right, that'll work. Just give you a DM screen. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, two points of damage, you say? Uh, yeah, two points of damage. Okay. Um, so he grabs hold of that. Give me an opposed strength check. Um, 22. Okay. He tries to rip the dart out of your hand, but his hand just slips off, uh, cutting it deeply for the two points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, falls to the side, and he makes another grab with his offhand with a penalty hit. Oh, no. No, no, no. He reaches uh, with the other hand. You pull the dart back. He's missed with both. Your turn. Okay, my turn. Uh, there's going to be three darts in his neck. Um, you can't throw from this range. Hmm. Can't you move back? You could. Yeah, you could step back to the other step side. Step back. Room. Okay, so I'm going to step back. All right, give me three attack rolls. Okay, let's see. Let's try three new dice. It's just three completely new dice. Let's see. Uh, that's either a one or a twenty. I'm not sure. Uh, that's a eleven. It's a twenty. It's a twenty. Cool. So that's good to go hit. Uh, let's actually roll that first. Uh, eleven plus uh, whatever I have. I don't have an adjustment. Nope. Uh, and four. Does eleven okay, hit? The, the eleven does hit. The twenty is a double crit. So give me two, three, four, d three. I'm um, just gonna roll four d4s and sure. it's gonna roll fours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, re -roll is that four. four? Just re-roll. Yeah. Three. So three, three, two. That's six, seven, eight. Eight and one more d4. And three. So, that's almost completely max damage. Nice. So that's nine. You're gonna put the damage. Okay. Okay. Um, he yelps in pain. Give me an initiative roll, please. Uh, twelve. Uh, Does Henry do anything? Um, he not last round. Last round he was surprised. Okay. Can you give me an initiative roll for Henry though? Yeah. As well? Uh, eight. Eight and four for the quarter staff is twelve. What was yours? Uh, twelve as well. Okay. Uh, he goes first, the, not Henry, but um, the, this mysterious swaggering knight goes first, gets up, and comes to... Where, uh, where is it? Uh, he reaches down under the bed, grabs two daggers, hurls the first at you because the way that missile attacks work, he throws a dagger, then on your turn you throw your thing, and then he gets his second attack, and then okay, you get your second cool. attack, and then you get your third attack. So he hurls his dagger at you. Oh, God. Does not go well. He is rolling very poorly. It's That's very hard. good because I have four HP. It's very um, good. The dagger thuds into the wall behind you and drops to the ground. Cool. I get a hit. Uh, okay. Henry takes his quarter. Oh, staff. do I get a hit as well? Yeah, you do. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, that's four. Don't hit. That's a miss. Henry gets his quarter staff, comes up to whack the guy, swings wide and misses, and he takes his second dagger throw. Can he? Does he throw in uh, melee attack without any penalties? What are the penalties for attacking him? You know, we sometimes discuss this from time to time, but I never remember what it is. I don't know if you get a hit or if it's 
opens up attack of opportunity. What are the penalties for missile weapons in combat? Missile weapons. Well, you're, you're right, Noob Commando, but there's not there's not much shit you can do with a <laughs> with a level one bard that can do much damage. Um, what is the tech of opportunity? That's what people are saying. Hopefully not, new commando. Hopefully not. Well, I need to talk to him. Oh, What's my accent? Uh, Romanian. Uh, second edition. It's quite warm. You could open the AC. Okay. Cool. So I'm uh, actually gonna do it. Don't worry. So you can find that. Firing into a melee, no. Fatigue, retreat, magic item, withdraw. Firing, throwing missiles. Firing or throwing a missile is dangerous when a character is threatened by another creature since it creates an attack of opportunity. Cool, so, um, what's his name? Henry gets to make an attack, free attack, which is almost a hit. If he wasn't drunk still, it would have been a hit. But he's still a little intoxicated, so it's a swing and a miss. Our mysterious fighter hurls his dagger. God! I'm gonna retire this die. I'm just gonna use this <laughs> Hurls his second dagger. You say, I'm gonna retire this die and just wore it in Rose 19. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, your turn. You get your second and third attacks. Um, second and third attacks. Um, uh, 20. Give me three times damage dice. One free free, so that's four. Five. Oh, five, yeah. And three, that's miss. Well, the five takes him down. Okay, He oh. collapses to the ground in a pool of his own blood. Um, Henry backs up, eyes wide, looking around, goes, oh, you, you, you killed him. He attacked Chris. I retrieved my dart from his neck, and he reached up. Can't, can't do anything if a man is stupid. How many darts did you throw? You threw six. Three, six. Okay. So I'm gonna kill. We cover all of them, of course. Okay. Um, some of them are like the ones that missed are like around the room. It'll take you a few minutes to recover them. Yeah. Okay. So you start picking up these things when the door bursts open, and standing in it is the innkeeper. Uh, holding a, a big shield and a spear. He looks into the room and goes, What the hell is going on here? I hear sounds of fighting in the middle of the night. And then he spots the body and the blood and goes, Sweet mother of Jesus, uh, sweet mother of, of Martha, <laughs> what have you done? I just entered the room to talk to the man. What and he attacked me. have you done? I, again, I could raise my hands. like. I entered the room with Henry over and he wanted to talk. We, you heard us, we're trying to, we want to stop the ogre type of things and and he was so drunk, uh -huh. he, had, he, he, he started bashing at my head. He wasn't that drunk when he went to sleep. I, Henrietta! Henrietta, get the guards! We got a murderer! Oh, fuck. And he stands in the doorway, like shield completely in front of him, spear above his head. Oh, shit. 
Oh fuck. <laughs> um, uh, Hank looks to you for direction. I just, I, I, I fell three darts at that that, that didn't keep her. <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> Give me your first roll to hit. Um, um, yeah. Um, thirteen. Thirteen is uh. Yeah, 13 is a hit. Give me a roll for damage. Three points of damage. You whack the innkeeper in the face. He crumples to the ground and, and stops moving. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to shut the door real fast and say, down the, down the window. Uh, actually, no. Not down the window. Um, I'm going to see. I'm gonna, uh, get that coin, uh, coin purse real fast from the guy. Uh, from, from the from the night, yeah. Okay. Uh, by and the way, the, the innkeeper's body is on the outside of the doorway. So I know. You never, I know. Okay. You pick up the coin purse. It is heavy. Okay. I just take it Shh, to our room now. Fast, easy. What? Huh? Shh. To our room. Okay. And we just sneak around to our room. He opens the door and heads to the room. E very easily, like okay. like fast and easy. Okay. Uh, as you guys come out into the hallway, you oh, um, you hear a bunch I, of doors all of a sudden slam shut. <laughs> Like, can I, do, can I do this as well as I like, grab the coast? Can I just open the window to the room? Sure. I just open the window. Sure. And then I go to my room. Okay. Uh, as you guys open the door and step out into the hallway, you hear a bunch of doors in the hallway shut. Cool, cool. Just never mind. I, 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 go, I go easily, very easily to my room. Okay. Um, and we close the door. We shut the door as well. Okay. Uh, it's deadly silent in the inn. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, so... We need to. This this is what's gonna happen. Uh, they're gonna find the darts around there, so I'm gonna have to get rid of these. Uh, most likely throw them out. Um, I'm gonna go down the window and come back up. I'm gonna have a rope here. Did so you abandon me? No, I'm coming right back. I need to. I can't just throw the darts out because they're gonna they're gonna reason, reason out who it was. So I need to stash away the darts somewhere, and then I'll get them later. So keep this. Keep this rope up. If somebody comes bashing at the door, pretend you're asleep and just w waking up. And just, just do it loudly so I can hear you. You're not going to leave me here, right? I promise. Okay. I uh, give him the rope and... Um, um, how much gold is inside of that? The bag? Yeah. It's dark. Real how, fast. How long do you, you open up a, a sack of gold coins about this big? Mm -hmm. Well, well you, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the plan. I'm going to go with the plan. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down the rope, mm -hmm. uh, find a bush. How like long is your rope? Uh, 50 feet. Yeah, you can easily get the... No, no, 50 feet. The, the inn is built, everything's built on the hillside. Mm -hmm. So the, you're on the second story if you enter through the front door. But if you go down out the window, it's actually the third story. So you, you can rappel down three stories, no problem. Okay, go down. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere to store um, the coin purse, uh, but not all of it. I'm gonna take some of the gold there for my own. How much gold do you take out of it? Uh, I'm gonna take ten. Well, no, actually, I'm gonna just take a handful. Like, okay, you yeah, you get twelve. Mark twelve gold. Gold. Okay, because I don't wanna seem like I stole the whole thing. So I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna stash it with my bandolier mm -hmm. uh, into. Into a bush somewhere. I can... Carefully, they're taking my time to to hide them away. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. stash them in a bush. Up the rope. Wow. You head up the rope. Okay. Um, rope is just tied up. Put in the backpack. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay. Fairly soon, you hear the thuds of iron shod boots on wooden floors. And a woman's voice saying, up there, they're up there. Uh, and some guards, you, you assume to be guards, start pounding up the stairs um, and start pounding on a doorway. Uh, one of them goes, oh God, someone tell the missus his, her husband's dead. Uh, one of the guards turns, you can hear his feet scrape and him like walk much more slowly down the stairs. Moment passes, and then there's a wail from the woman. Um, I don't know what to kill him. <laughs> uh, uh, 
And then there's a, a man saying, uh, room's empty, guy's dead. Uh, pounding again from the, uh, the door, one of the doorways in the hallway. Uh, finally, the, you hear this conversation just faintly through the walls, but the walls aren't that thick, the doors mm-hmm. aren't that great. Uh, it, one of the guards says, Who, who's in there? What, what are you doing? The person says, I didn't see it. I, 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 didn't, do it. I didn't do it. But, but, then you can't hear it, anything what's said. Um, and you hear some footsteps. And, God, uh, someone loudly pounds on your door like a single big thud. Like, yeah, yeah, what is it? Uh, the door handle churns. And a guard steps in. He's got studded leather armor uh, and a very long, like a halberd. Like he sees me, like in my in my night clothes, just like blazing up. Uh, I have this little, uh, like small cloth cap with a puff ball at the end that I sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he sees me raising for yes. You there? You've been accused of the murder. Of, I actually have no idea what the guy's name is, but it wasn't Leonard. It was um, okay, cool. Whatever the the guy's name is. Of so and so, the the such and such. How do you plead? Uh, sleepy. Uh, I I've been here the whole time. How could I have gone and killed the guy? One of the other the another guard pokes his head and goes, "Is this the guy?" He says, oh, "That's what the woman next door says. She said she saw this guy leaving the room." And just after the murder. Me? Do, do the, I, 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 okay, okay. Shut up, we're not talking to you. He turns back to the other guy. Ask the other room, ask the other neighbors. Maybe one of them saw something. Shit. Uh, there's some knocking on the doors and you hear people coming out and pretty soon the hallway is filled with the other guests and you can overhear them saying, yeah, yeah, we heard the commotion and then the, then the innkeeper came up and we were peering through the doorways and. And a battle happened, and then the innkeeper fell down, and we, we couldn't see what was happening. And they shut the door, and then a few moments later, the door opened, and 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 the the, the guy who was singing earlier. It was uh, dark. It was dark. You said there was no light. You literally said I couldn't see in a in a in a bag. No, I I, I said you couldn't count the entire bag. Come on, okay, go 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 on, go on. Uh, but and and God, we, damn it. We, it was. I, I'm pretty sure it was the the bard from earlier. But I, I didn't look too long. I, I, as soon as I saw him, I, I shut the door and, and, I, and I hid. I was afraid he would come and kill me too. And the other guy's like, yeah, yeah. And I didn't hear anyone going down the staircase. I, I, I didn't even hear anyone walking down the hallway. It, it, it's totally him. It's got to be him. It's totally, there's a window open. They see, they see that? Okay, go, go on. I mean, no, no one mentions a window. Yep. Um, and meanwhile, th- this is the one guard in the hallway. The, the other guard who was talking to the grieving widow comes back up. Pokes his head indoors and goes, oh, poor woman will never be the same. That man was the light of her life. Is this the guy? Um, There's two of them. In the same room? Uh, they're probably just poor travelers. Uh, the guard facing you says, all right, we're going to take you to prison, both of you, and we'll see what Lady Thistle has to say about this in the morning. She will be your judge and your jury. And, uh... Uh, yeah, I should just come from a performance at her house. You, you, no problem. Well, then, you shouldn't mind, uh... Yeah. ...objecting yourself to her judgment. Yeah, yes, yes, of course, yes, of course. Okay. The... One of the guards, you know, they step out of the way, one in front, two in the back, and they motion with their spears for you to march in your nightgown. I march my... I, I'm gonna take my accordion keys with me. Uh, uh, actually... uh, uh, what... What is that? Just open it and show it to him. You can leave that behind. I just want to sing on the road. I don't think so. I just leave that behind. Uh, and you too. You, under the bed. Get out here. And Hank like crawls out from underneath the bed and hangs his head really low and shuffles along the way behind you. Um, you guys are marched off to... Lady Thistle. As we guys, I just manner. put a hand. It's still more and we. Uh, it's gonna be proven we're innocent. Just, just keep calm. It's, it, there's no problem. Like, and as I say that, like, my hand's gonna. Okay. You guys get marched off to Lady Thistle's house, uh, Manor, where she is already awake and pacing, 
downstairs very impatiently. How are we on time? I don't know. I think we started at 40. Okay, no, we, got, we still got 20 minutes. Cool. For our break. Um, she is pacing, pacing impatiently, and as you guys get let in, she goes, uh, aren't you that singer that played last night? I am, lady. I, I have a very big confusion of about what's happening here. Did you murder our swordsmen that we hired to go slay the ogres? Can I, can I say it another way? I have no idea what's happening here. I talked to the man when we were in the bar. He seemed boisterous enough. I actually planned on writing a song about him. He showed me the spear with the head. Well, mentioned it and then I went to saw it. Besides that, that's, I didn't do anything else to him. Mm -hmm. Besides him ignoring me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to him. She looks at the guards. Are there witnesses? Guards nod. And six people come in. Uh, one, three people. I guess one of the four people come in. Mm -hmm. a, a husband and wife. And then a separate woman and a separate man. They all come in still in their pajamas. Kind of a little bit tired, but you know, with big boots on. Um, and the grieving widow comes in crying. And then when she's not crying, like looking at you with hate. Just pure, unadulterated hate in her eyes. The, the impromptu trial begins. I don't know how we're going to run this. I, I have no idea. Uh, so, how do you want to do it? Let's remember the details as they happened. Uh, you walked up the stairs. No, you came out of your room. Mm -hmm. You crept very quietly in. No one heard that. You got into the room quietly. All was quiet. I'm just assuming there's no, no light in the, in the corridor, was there? No, I'm mean, just what little starlight or moonlight. Yeah. Starlight and moonlight comes cool. in. Um, things were pretty quiet until daggers and knives started getting thrown and people started getting hit and crying out in pain. And the guy was swinging a quarter staff around the room. Um, the guy died. Door gets shut. Uh, no, door. Yeah, door gets shut. Innkeeper trudges up the stairs. Everyone starts paying attention. Uh, peeks their head out. Innkeeper motions them to come back in. Innkeeper up talk talks to you. you you guys are still in the room so no one could see it from down the corridor you hit him in the head with a dart <laughs> <laughs> just boom, crumples to the ground um i cut the cord to his uh pouch the and the, the pouch. window opened we'll open the window basically what i'm trying to do is just make it seem like a like a fevery. There was some detail that I wanted to get to that I can't remember. There was some... Now you shut the door before you started talking. Yep. I, I yeah. don't think Henry just yeah. talked. Shut it. Um, then the door opens. They're peering out. They see figures exit. They shut their doors. You guys walk back into your room. God, I thought there was some, there's some detail, and I can't remember what it is right now that I had in my mind a moment ago. That was... Uh, Dr. Mageddon. <laughs> oh, God, well, but there was a... Hmm. Oh, yes. Uh... The detail was you you talked with the innkeeper and you're like I, we we were just talking we just came in and he he attacked us. That part of your conversation was overheard by the people who had their who was, when, we, when you were talking with the innkeeper before yeah. you threw the dart at him and the people with the doors open like peering and listening. Or that's what it is. So they as they're talking. Oh come on. <laughs> okay, go on, go on. I mean, look, fair. you're you're in an it's inn. Fair. There's people getting murdered and like. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. If you want, yeah. I just feel like they wouldn't be able to hear exactly what I said Maybe or not. something like. Yeah, they, let's give them perception checks. That's a good call. Let's give. Yeah. Let's give. Uh, th only three of them could listen at the door. The husband and wife. Only one of them could be there listening. The other would be nearby. I'll give them a perception check at a penalty. Um, we'll just. No, D20. No, no, I don't trust your D20s. <laughs> well, we'll pull it from. <laughs> don't tell me that's a twenty. Don't no. tell me that's a twenty. I'm not gonna tell you it's a twenty. This is one of those few moments where it's just too good to be true. Where I will lift the screen. And show you two 18s before. Uh, 
And the wife. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I generally don't like to show my rolls, but occasionally the, the stars align, and I just can't help but show them. Um, so they kind of, they give a, a hit and miss detail of what happened. Some of the details aren't quite accurate. Sometimes it's like, oh, you know, he said this is slightly off, but the general gist of it's right. Um, oh, I'll continue not pleading guilty. Uh, I'm like, not guilty or innocent, and just so I was in my room. Um, I is there like anything? Have you guys inspected like the place? Was he robbed? Was he what? What happened exactly? Like, why kill him? Like, I understand these people f think they saw somebody, but what's the motive? Like, I like the, the innkeeper s saw us talk to him about getting rid of the ogres, and I think other people in the bar overheard the same thing. I, I overheard them, and the, 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 the swordsman laughed at him and walked away. He looked pretty angry. Angry? Yeah, yeah, you looked angry after the after your, you were talking. A to... swordsman told me I didn't sing well when I just came back with a full pouch of money from Lady um, Phone Whip's party that they really enjoyed my singing. Fuck what he thinks. That's not. There's not something to kill on. That is not Lady something Thistle to kill on. Lady her head when the guard says, uh, "Speaking of money, the guy, the guy's pouch was missing. He was robbed." Lady Thistle goes, hmm, and you... I, I produced my pouch. I mean, besides what I, I had a bit on my journey and what, you, what I got from your estate, my lady. But besides that, there's nothing else in there. Your pouch is back at the end. Unless you sleep with it on. I have it in my belt. You sleep in your belt? I have my belt on, yeah. Why do you have your belt on? Why do you because sleep in your pants. belt? Because my pants. I have pants. You sleep in pants? Yeah, I sleep in pants and nightshirt and... With a belt? Yeah. I don't leave my my coin pouch in a backpack for any uh, thief to walk in and take. Okay, that, that's fair. You can say that. I've just... Sleeping in a belt is one of the most uncomfortable experiences in life. I've never had that problem. You, I've, I've you've slept, slept in belts I've and... I've slept in belts, oh no problem. Oh my god, it's so uncomfortable. Absolutely no problem. Anyway, All right. I don't, hey, don't even different care. Different strokes, different If there's folks. a buckle, if there's a big buckle... Uh, there we go. If there's a big buckle, that's gonna be uncomfortable, but besides that, I don't think so. And marked coins, guy. <laughs> no, his coins weren't marked. Uh, hmm. 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 Okay, give me. Let's see. Charisma check? I don't want to say it yet. Okay, I'm waiting. Hmm. There's a lot of evidence against you. There's three eyewitnesses that place you two. at the... Three. Two. One, one, two. I mean, there's two that heard, but all three people said they saw you coming out. Um, well, they think they saw me. They, well, they, yeah. They saw shadows. I mean, this is this is not the day of forensic evidence and fingerprints. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's um, that's I'm using I'm using that kind of Which means motive and opportunity are the three thing. Lady uh, Thistle says this loud. There are three aspects to a crime: means, motive, and opportunity. Motive is evident. Uh, money. You are clearly a, a poor traveling bard. Your clothes are fancy, but your man here is the poorest most filthiest dressed man I've known, and my guards say when you left, he was drunk off of my liquor cabinet. So there's motive. Means? Um, if you believe it was me, search my room for weapons. Besides my man's quarterstaff, there's nothing else. Uh, a man who is willing to murder and then hide in the very house that he murdered a person. Well, it's not, it was me, simply. I mean, it's just, why would I still... Okay. A man who would be willing to do such things might go to lengths. To why would I stay in the same room if I had the opportunity to not only run, <clears throat> but get away completely out of town before the guards even got to the... You have the motive, you have the opportunity... I do not see the weapons on you. Guards, were there any weapons in their room? And they shake their heads. There, there was a quarterstaff. Um, that, that seemed to be it. 
The, the men died to what seemed to be knife wounds, uh, dagger wounds maybe, hard to tell. She strokes her face. Uh, and you, you've searched him now, and the girl kind of abashedly comes over and pats you down. No, no, no knife, no dagger. She says, well, is it possible that he used the knight's own dagger against him and left it there? Yeah, darts are a lot smaller than daggers. Are I mean, they're like half a pound, so they're, they're smaller awesome. than daggers, but they're the size of a knife. Okay. Um, and the guard says, there were a couple knives in Not the room, bloodied. but they didn't have any blood on them. She muses, hmm. Motive and opportunity are evident. Means, maybe not, but anyone could just throw a knife from a, an inn room out into the wilderness, out into the town, and may not be found. You said there was a, a window open in the, in the murderer's room? The guard, nards, guard, the guard nods. She goes, well, he may have just been warm. Although it's a chill autumn evening, I doubt it was for breeze. Is it possible that a, a murderer climbed in through the windows and then climbed back out? And one of the people says, No, my lord, or my, my lady. Uh, I, I definitely saw them coming back through the hallway. I, I didn't hear anyone coming downstairs. Well, it's just, just pointing out the obvious, you said somebody came out in the, in the door and out and you closed the door immediately afterwards? Uh, uh, what, huh? Huh? You said... You saw somebody, and then you closed your door immediately afterwards. Uh huh. Maybe the person was looking for somebody and then just went out the window. Well, I, I heard the footsteps for a bit, but not not all the way. Um. And, okay. And then Lady Thistle says, "Wait a minute, guards. How did you find this man? He has a, a bed cap on his head." The guards nod. Yeah, he he said he was asleep in bed. And the lady looks at you and says, If everyone else woke up to the ruckus and two men were killed, how did you sleep through that? I'm a bard. Have you ever been to bard college? Everybody's singing. You need to be able to sleep on music. Like... You can sleep through people being murdered around you? Well, some per certain practitioners of music are not that good. They kind of sound like people being I murdered. I think I've heard enough. Guards... Take him to the, to the dungeon. Leave him there for a month. You and, and Bill, no, not Bill, Henry, Henry. get dragged off. Uh, and as you get dragged, Henry's like, It wasn't me! It wasn't me! I didn't do it! He, he made me help him! I swear! It wasn't me! He, he did all the work! I, I, I was just supposed to be the bodyguard! And he starts freaking out and totally turns on you the moment that he gets fully... But he was by your side all the way. Okay. And, and Lady Thistle nods and goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, if that's the case, then leave him in the dungeons for a month, and then we will have a beheading at the end of it. And the guards drag you. They, they, take, your, they take your belt and your money. No belt for you and drag you down to the dungeons. Uh, Hank gets dragged down to the dungeons, mm -hmm. and you get both thrown in the same cell. I smack him on the head. He curls up in a corner and just, like, hides from you. And uh, let's take our second break yeah? right here. Yeah, okay, let's take our second break. And let's hope, let's hope that the traveling bard can get the hell out of this prison so we can keep using the same character as we go. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, see you guys in a little bit.